from United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Kung Pam was once a successful farmer with land in Vietnam's fertile Mekong Delta. Today, Pam lives on a small allowance from his children. And his farm? It's out there, underwater, a kilometer or so off the coast of this beach. Thousands of coastal farmers have already lost their land and incomes. But now sea level rise is threatening even more farmers upstream. During the dry season, salty seawater easily flows inland. Contaminating freshwater irrigation canals, says Truyen Ming Pam, director of the Department of Agriculture. Trong những năm gần đây thì do cái biến đổi khí hậu thì nó có ảnh hưởng rất lớn đến cái sản xuất là nông nghiệp nói chung, sản xuất cây lúa nói riêng của tỉnh làm ảnh hưởng tới cái thu hẹp cái diện tích sản xuất lúa. 60 kilometers upstream, rice from a bin tack would never have imagined seawater entering his irrigation canal. But today, it's killing his rice crop. This season, he expects his harvest will be half of what he once reaped. Farmers say they are in desperate need of information and ideas that will help them adapt to climate change. And for the first time, they might get the help they're looking for. Over the next six years, the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, in cooperation with the Vietnamese government, will invest 50 million US dollars in activities like monitoring and forecasting salinity, improving irrigation canals and dikes, and helping farmers find income alternatives that might include growing something other than rice. Bên cạnh đó thì cũng trầm trọng thì có thể mình sẽ sẽ chuyển đổi một cái số cái diện tích trồng lúa để cho nông dân qua chuyển qua là nuôi trồng thủy sản mà. Here in this lab at Travin University, researchers are looking for species that are more tolerant to salt water and could provide a good income to farmers. As temperatures increase, rice farmers may have few options. Warmer weather brings on more pests and crop diseases, and when humidity is high and temperatures exceed 36 degrees Celsius, the rice pollen itself becomes sterile, threatening an even larger collapse. In the meantime, rice farmers here gather with local officials and project staff to begin discussing their adaptation strategies. For farmer Bintak, the goal is simple, to stay one step ahead of climate change. This report was produced by John Leviton for the United Nations.